Hey guys, this is Damien from mdgear.com. I just got my Deus remote back from uh, Massachusetts. Um, Detector Corp is the only uh, US repair, authorized repair place for uh, Deus. And um, I had an issue where my screen went totally blank on me um, after charging it overnight and the backlight would come on and the buttons would make weird sounds and but I had nothing on my screen. So I sent it into a Detector Electronics Corp in Scottsboro, Massachusetts, and um, also meldetecting.com is their main website. Uh, so they replaced the LCD for me, so now I've got a working uh, remote. One thing I wasn't happy with, when it came back, the top rubber cap is off kilter. Um, you can see how it's kind of sticking over one edge and not touching the other edge. How's the macro on this guy? Not great. <laughs> Decent, I guess. Uh, you can see how it's kind of like half off there. So they told me at Detector Electronics Corp that I could uh, just undo the four screws in the back and um, center that and then put the screws back in. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Shakes away. Okay, so I, got one. I found my little precision screwdriver. I can say I'm not terribly happy with um, this repair place in Massachusetts and I got on the Deus board. Um, other people have sent their stuff in to them and had some issues as well and had to kind of complain to France. So hopefully I can do this. I've loosened these all the way up. Um, why am I not happy with it? I don't know. I kind of expected a replacement remote instead of a repaired one because uh, I've only had it for a couple of months. Um, I have no idea how this is going to work, but supposedly all this is going to come apart. There we go. Okay. Kind of loosen this gently. These two rubber things kind of fall right off, they told me. And they are falling right off. So there's the falling right off rubber things. Got my four screws. Set that back down. So I want to see. Aha, uh -huh, so. That top part looks like it goes into a slit at the top and it just wasn't pushed all the way over before they tightened this up. Um, I don't know guys, I feel that that's kind of... See that? So it wasn't pushed all the way over before tightening that up. Um, kind of, I feel like that's a little sloppy on their part. I almost think this is backwards. Because it's not getting pushed over any more than that. I can't push this over any more than it is. It makes me think they stuck this thing on backwards. Oop. Boy, those screws hold the board in too. So I'm gonna lift this board out. I'm gonna try reversing this and put it back in. I shouldn't have to have done this. They should have done this right the first time. If you ask me. There's a battery in there. That looks relatively easy to change if you'd have to change it. All right, um, so I've pushed it over about as far as I can go. There's still a little bit of a lip there once I reversed it, but it's, um, it's better, I think. Let's get this stuff back on. Looks pretty good. Shaky hands. <laughs> I'm gonna do a loose tight, uh, a half tighten on these screws. Make sure everything looks good.
Yeah, look at that. It's city perfectly now. Got enough light to see that. See that? Now it's perfect. Uh, so, Detector Electronics Corp, WTF. Um, you know, you guys are the only U.S. representative, U.S. Um, repair shop for the XP Deus, which is in a freakishly expensive detector. At, and um, I feel like you guys should have taken a little look at your product before you sent it back to me. Um, tighten these guys up. Always good to hand tighten. Never use a drill for this kind of stuff because the drill can definitely over tighten. All right, look at that. I've put placed it back perfectly. Looks really good. And the bottom looks good and hopefully the remote turns on. There we go. They basically said I could fix it myself or send it back in at the end of the season. Well, you know, I just fixed it myself. All right, uh, this is Damien for MD Gear. I just started this channel, so I uh, don't have a lot of videos yet, but in the future I plan on doing uh, detector gear reviews, especially over the winter when I can't get out and hunt. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some uh, help out the newbie videos on how to cut a plug and how to um, uh, what gear is kind of essential for metal detecting, as well as doing any kind of reviews I can on um, any of the gear that I have and I'm already amassing quite a bit of it. So <laughs> please subscribe to my channel by clicking the logo up in the top right and visit my blog at mdgear.com and thanks for watching.